Finding the thermal lift at the 2023 outdoor nets could be tricky at times. On this particular day, which was really a nice day, low wind and the skies were pretty clear, people were finding good lift and other times it wasn't so good, even when it looked like uh, indicators show that it should be a good lift. Roger had launched and then Gerald and Neil's trying to figure out when he wants to go. After this, there was a lot of people just waited a long time before launching again. Pretty much everyone had some kind of a heat uh, sensing device and a streamer. And a few people were using bubbles at times. I was flying E36 uh, before this. And I sure didn't find any lift. Neil's daughter was launching an E36, and I know one flight was a max, but uh, another flight, when the air was so bad, it came down in the parking lot. I don't know how this flight went for Neil, but I know one of them came down real fast, too. So I had the chance to see Hope launch her Mulville Hill in her record-setting day. This particular flight was just under seven minutes, and I watched it until it was just too high to see it. This plane is available as a semi-kit from j and Aerospace. I saw Mike Curta make this uh, fantastic flight with a rubber model that went way to the edge of the field. Chuck Powell won the P-30 event again with a final score that was way ahead of the competition. I had heard the... Uh, the lift was really tricky, and a lot of people, they were under 300 when Chuck was at 1,100. Well, here's Simon Blake's uh, spacer. It appeared to fly well, but Simon said he was having trouble finding lift that day, too.